In this edition of Furry Girl Profiles, as we take a look back at some of the most treacherous females in anthropomorphic animation, we come to 2007's Noah's Ark. And for those who are not religious or not familiar with the story of Noah's Ark, God decides to cleanse the world by causing a massive flood that lasts for 40 days and 40 nights. But before that, he instructed a man named Noah to build an ark, and to ensure the survival of the animal species, he was to bring one male and one female aboard the ship. And when it comes to this particular version of Noah's Ark, coming out of the curtain rear end first, singing her own version of I Will Survive, was a rather big breasted and seductive pamper named Panty. Panty's English voice actress was Heather Gallagher. She was a singer and secondary antagonist along with the predators that worked side Dan Nito. While Panty's role as an antagonist was rather small, she was responsible for seducing and using the main hero, Zero, then later on getting him framed for killing an innocent animal aboard the Ark. Panty's appearance causes somewhat of a plot hole, however, because there was supposed to be one male and one female of each species aboard the Ark, but she was one of the few animals on board the Ark that didn't seem to have a mate. To understand her goal is to understand Dan Nito's goal. He was a scheming tiger who was not only the leader of the predators, but also wanted to be king of the animal kingdom. And to him, being king meant he had easy access to all the prey he ever wanted without ever having to chase it ever again. The problem for him was, he was not heir to the throne. Zero was. Though the prince started out kind of bratty and his priorities were royally screwed up, the other animals were very much fond of him. But Danito knew Zero had a weakness. Something big breasted with the body of an hourglass. Why won't you come with us? Not only does this not sit well with Kyrell because Zero doesn't take his future duties as king seriously, but as a character that had genuine feelings for him, this will mark the second time that Kyrell has had to take a backseat to one of Zero's girlfriends. While Zero was too much of an oblivious womanizer to look past the looks of Panty, it was rather easy to see Panty had no genuine feelings for Zero. And unfortunately, it took Kyrell scolding him to get some senses back into his head. But all you are is the result of a bad recipe for a king. Sometime afterwards, Danito put a plan into motion, when he accidentally pulls off a piece of cloth from one of the stowaways the animals called the Grass Whoppers. It was around this time Zero went to go set things straight with Panty by calling off all relations with her, and accidentally ended up walking into a setup. What happens next catches Clueless Zero completely off guard, when Panty goes running down the hall screaming murder, and walks directly into the bait set up for him. He ripped open its belly and then he ate it right in front of me and then... You murderer! You assassin! Zero had successfully been framed for the murder of one of the grass whoppers, shattering both the other animals and Kyrell's faith in him. The only thing that was left to do was for Danito to step in and overrule Zero, which ended up being anonymous. So then... Zero is hauled off and Danito gets everything he wants. I hope everything has turned out as you planned. Couldn't be better. As Zero is being locked away, he figures out all too late that Panty was nothing but the support for Danito's scheme, and cared far more about what was going to be on her dinner plate than him. I'm very sorry, Hanson. After that point, Panty's role as a character for the most part was over. When the big showdown came, despite being one of the Predators or Kyrell's presence, she didn't actively participate in the fight that led to the defeat of her colleagues. Instead, Panty would finish out her role in what appears to be a go-go dancer cage. Right. And with that, so ends our video of Fred Girl Profiles, Panty.